welcome to the Nakuru TV News Roundup on Friday, the 23rd of March 2018. This is Alisa Shirmore. Detectives from the anti-graft agency today morning raided private residences and offices of three officials at the Pirates from Processing Company of Kenya headquarters in Nakuru town over corruption claims. The team from the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission confiscated documents suspected to be related to corruption activities in the company. The investigators raided the houses and offices of the company's managing director, Paul Lolwe Rikoi, marketing director and the accountant. The documents that were seized are suspected to be related to flouted procurement procedures, illegal leasing of the company's assets, and controversial tenders and contract documents. The Commission's South Reef Deputy Manager, Christine Natome, said its officers took action after receiving reports linking senior officials at the firm with corruption dealings. He said they obtained a search warrant from the court on Thursday. The detectives also interrogated Mr. Lolwe Rikoi for hours at the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission South Reef headquarters before he was released. Meguna Meguna's lawyers have confirmed that he will return to the country on Monday. James Orengo, who led the lawyers representing Meguna, said they appreciated efforts made by the government to facilitate his return. He also said they have received confirmation from the Ministry of Interior that Meguna will be allowed safe entry into the country. He, however, requested the relevant authorities to allow Meguna's lawyers, family and friends to receive him at the airport. Eight tons of bambaru wood, estimated at 800,000, have been recovered by the Kenya Forestry Service office offices in Maisha Masha area, Witu, in Lamu County. This was after the officers who are part of the multi agency effort in Boni Forest were tipped off by locals on illegal timber harvest activities inside the forest. The loggers have fled at the scene before the officers arrived, but local police have launched the manhunt for them. The Kenya National Union of Teachers wants the Labor Ministry to issue a certificate of disagreement against the Teacher Service Commission over the dispute on the promotion of teachers with higher academic qualifications and transfers. Speaking during a press conference, Secretary General Wilson Socion explained that this will enable it to proceed on a protested strike after TSC failed to come to the negotiating table on a number of occasions to discuss the plight of more than 30,000 teachers who had not been promoted, while stating that the union will not entertain the delocalization of teachers, Sosion urged teachers to be ready to boycott class once they give a go-ahead. And there is no doubt we are prepared to engage in productive industrial relations with the government of Kenya. So far we are in good books with the government. But while we are talking about unity of this nation, there is one institution that was created by us, the Teacher Service Commission. And the persons running and managing the Teacher Service Commission. They are not awake to the reality of the unity that is being built in the Republic of Kenya. And they have continued to oppress teachers of this nation. Teachers of this nation have been subjected to very grave, unfair labor practices for the last couple of years. Governor Mwangi Wairea and the County Public Service Board have been sued by nurses in Moranga for withholding salaries of at least 439 health workers who participated in last year's five-month strike. According to documents filed by the Nyeri Labor Court, the Kenya National Union of Nurses is also seeking orders to compel the county government to release 1.8 million deducted from the nurses' monthly income and not remitted to the union bank accounts.
taxpayers will shoulder 2.5 billion to settle a dispute with a spanish constr contractor who whose tender for construction of a transmission line connecting kenya to uganda was terminated for the non-performance kenya electricity transmission company told parliament that it requires the amount to settle certified works done by ina benzer the spanish company that has obtained court orders stopping any further works on the 100 and 32 kilometers Les Sauce Tororo transmission line. Two teenagers from Parkland's Baptist Primary School have been selected to be part of the sixth edition of the Football for Friendship tournament that will proceed at 2018 FIFA World Cup Russia. Jadidi Ndankumbi and Miles Morioki, both 12 years old, have been given the chance to take part in the age group tournament. Thank you for watching the Nakuru TV News Roundup. I am Alice Ashwin Morethi. Have a good night.